back everybody taking a look at a couple pieces of equipment here today that have some problems with an oil leak this one was sitting in back I went back there and it had probably six or eight drops under it from where I put it yesterday not a good thing at all some seepage is going to be common on any small engine where there's gaskets or seals over the life of it you're going to get some seepage especially around like dipstick tubes and things like that on smaller motors but the big thing you're looking out for is your oil leaks that are actively leaking. You can see oil pooling up or dripping or anything like that. Those oil leaks are causing enough of an issue to where your oil could completely run out. The seal could blow out real quick and, and blow your engine up. Your oil is the most important part. Without that oil, your engine will be junk. This test will tell you very quickly exactly where that oil is coming from and there'll be no question you can get that taken care of. By taking a quick look all around the engine, you can usually tell a lot of things about where the oil is coming from. Many times you'll be able to spot the exact culprit just by doing this. There's only a few places where there's gaskets and seals where it can leak in an engine. There's a low oil shutdown on the generator here where it could leak from. There's a seal around it. It's just like a, looks like a nut going into the side of the engine with a wire coming out of it. The gasket in between the crankcase and the enclosure plate cover, it can be leaking from there. There's a gasket around an oil fill tube, if you've got one. A lot of these have them on both sides. And then you've got two seals, one from the front PTO where the shaft comes out here, and one where the shaft comes out in the back where the flywheel attaches to it. If there's a bunch of oil up under here, up under this front enclosure plate where your pool start is, most likely your PTO seal. You'll probably have to take that cover off to inspect it further. Check your valve cover gasket all around and then check where the head meets the block at. See if there's any leakage or seepage there. If there is, the head gasket could be blown or the valve cover gasket could need replaced. I don't see any actively leaking oil. It looked to be a tiny bit up underneath, but I can't tell where it's coming from. The other side is kind of the same way. I can't see anything whatsoever that's telling me that this thing is leaking or where it's leaking from. We know both of these are leaking oil. We know that they have an active leak, but we don't really know where it's coming from. What are we going to do? We're going to use UV dye to dye the oil so we know where it's leaking. Very easy process. It says on this to, you can use it with pretty much anything says use clean oil for best results. It's got pretty clean oil in it. It says one quarter ounce of dye per quart of fluid. Something like this has right about a quart. I'm gonna put a quarter ounce in it. It's not exactly rocket science it doesn't have to be exact if you don't put enough in though it will be harder to spot now we run it we're gonna run it for probably six seven minutes let it get nice and warm and let that leaking happening depending on how bad the oil leak is you may have to leave it running for longer in order to see your oil leak this here while we're running it we're going to pay close attention that it doesn't start leaking any more oil than what it was. We'll want to pay close attention that the oil level is full before you start this. Otherwise, you could do major damage trying to figure out where the oil's coming from when the oil runs out. Now that we have it off, we're going to be looking through a special yellow lens and we're going to be looking with the UV light in order to see, we've got a special black light and a yellow light for covering. You can see it right there pretty well, right on the top, it's glowing, kind of see that glow. Hmm. 
not seeing any more over there at the time not seeing anything up front anywhere oh here we go we can see that glowing real bad right behind this bolt hole it looks like all along this gasket has that uv dye coming out real bad in it shows me exactly where it's leaking i mean that's undeniable there you can see that very very easily oil is dripping down that's where our oil leaks coming from in this case it is the crankcase gasket i put a little bit over a half an ounce in this thing we're going to fire this up, let it run for a little bit, and see where this one's coming from. Let's see what our UV dye tells us about this Toro and where the seeping is coming from. I would assume there's probably multiple places from the looks of it anyway. Start at the valve cover, most prominent place. We've got leakage coming from all over the valve cover. You can see that very easily. Doesn't look, oh, yep, the oil filter is leaking. Wonder if it's just, it's probably just loose a little bit. I don't see any other seepage up anywhere on this side. No seepage down at the sump gasket. PTO seal at the front. I'm gonna look right where the shaft comes out. If that's all wet in there, that's gonna need replaced. That's where it's leaking from. But you would be able to see the UV dye, if that were the case on this one. Again, not really much oil over here. I was thinking maybe this was just a, kind of a real slow leak and I don't see any active leaking coming from it whatsoever. I'm gonna say that one's okay. Crankcase gasket. I don't see anything over on this side either. I think he got pretty lucky with what was going on on this, with how much it actually looked like is leaking. Because there is oil everywhere down at the bottom. I would think it'd be something a lot larger than just being a valve cover gasket uh, and a loose oil filter. Luckily, that's all he's got at this point. The front, you can look at the PTO shaft there also. It's completely dry up front. On this, the PTO shaft, comes out just under this flap right down below it's an interesting piece of wood he has there holding uh, the seat up in between the intake and the seat this quick and easy toolkit can save you a ton of time trying to track down and figure out where your oil is leaking from sometimes it is multiple places and you won't know until you actually put a uv dye in it and let it tell you exactly where it's at. That's the only way to do it many times. In this case, it worked perfect. We're happy that those are the only places that are going to need addressed. We'll put a new valve cover on it and we'll put a new filter and change the oil on it. Power wash everything up. An oil leak is one of the most common issues that causes engine failure because people don't check their oil and don't monitor the oil level. Hopefully this helps you get uh, an oil leak taken care of. Regardless of whether it's a generator, a snowblower, zero turn, power washer, it doesn't matter. It's all the same process. Put some UV dye in it. Let it run for a little while for it to leak. Use your yellow glasses and some UV light. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.